Hello everybody, my name is Matthew and today we are going to be looking at how to make a bitmap file like this one right here in Notepad. Just typing random little bytes of data in hexadecimal into Notepad to create a 3x3 three three color picture like this one. To start off I'm going to pull up Notepad++. I'm going to put some links in the description to show you how to get those. You basically just need Notepad++ and Paint. That's it. You are also going to need to get a plugin for Notepad called the Hex Editor, but you can just get that through the Plugin Manager and you scroll down to... I don't have it in the list, but it would be an H, just hex editor. And you check it, you hit install, and it's installed. So if I turn off the hex editor for a minute, you see a BMZ and a whole bunch of null, just garbage data basically. That's because the computer cannot read this. It's not actually like letters. It's just garbage bytes of data in bitmap format. So when the computer tries to run it through ASCII, you get a few things that represent letters, but a whole lot of things that don't. And when I run this through the hex editor again, you get 42, 4D, 5A, a whole bunch of zeros, and some other data. Now, you'd think that a 3x3 file wouldn't need this much information, but the first 54 bytes in every one of these little two-digit numbers is a byte in hexadecimal. The first 54 of these are actually just header information. And the last 36, I believe, are color data. And not even all 36 of those are color data because there's padding, which I'll explain later. So, the way a bitmap file is broken down, the first 14 bits, bytes I should say, are the header. The next 40 are what's called the dib header. And each of these headers has information in it that talks about the makeup of the file. So, for example, for the header, the first two bytes of a bitmap file will always be in hex 4240 BM. That is because BM is the identity, it's what tells the computer that this is a bitmap file. So that's the first two bytes. The next four bytes are the size of the bitmap file. So 5a is hexadecimal 490, and that's describing the entire length of this file, not including the dump over there, but all of these bytes. There's 90 here, and that is the size of the file. So that's those four. Starting at grid 6, those two are reserved for the actual program that uses the file. 8 and 9 are reserved, but starting at 10 you get the offset, which is the starting address of the byte where the bitmap image data can be found. So that's 36 hexadecimal, which is actually 56. It's, I believe it's like 55 or 56 in regular numbers, but if we go down to uh, row 3, actually row 4, column 6, right here, 3, 6, you get FF. That is the first bit of information, that's the blue value for this bitmap file. Um, going to take a little break for a minute and talk about what this bitmap file actually is. This is a 24-bit bitmap file 
with a 14-bit header, a 40-bit dib header, and then color data, meaning that three bytes are used to store the color data. These three bytes right here show a color that is mostly blue. Unlike the actual like RGB values you normally see, they're stored blue, green, red instead of red, green, blue. So when I say FF here, that represents 255.1.1, which is mostly red. Or actually, I believe that's mostly blue. Let me edit it just to double check. If I just say FF, 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 right here, save it, and open it again. It's the bottom left one, and it's going to represent red. If I save that again and load it, it's going to be blue. So the first color, the first bit of color data representing the first pixel is going to show the bottom left pixel and it is stored blue, green, red. So 255, 1, 1. Basically pure red. And I have my own file here that I've already made, but now I'm gonna walk you through making your own. So first off, go to the hex editor, viewing it in hex, and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to type 424D. We are making a 3x3 three three bitmap file. I've already done the math on this, but we have a 14 byte header, 40 bytes for the dib header, 36 bytes of color data, including padding, and the reason there is padding is because the each row of color data needs to come out to a multiple of four bytes. So if we have three by three, there's one, two, three for the first pixel, four, five, six for the second, seven, eight, nine. And to make it come out to a multiple of four, we're gonna need to add three bytes of padding before we go to the next line. That's how that works. So if I were trying to make a 2x2 two two file, you would have 6 bytes of data for every row and then 2 bytes of padding. Now, back to this, we have 14 bytes for the header, and the first 2 bytes, as I said, 4, 2, 4, D. The next 4 bytes are the size of the file in bytes, I already told you that was 90. In hexadecimal, that is 5a. That's not right at all. Five A. Need to pay more attention to how I am typing these. Okay. Now the size of the bitmap file is 4 bytes, so I'm going to add 3 bytes that are just zeros. The next 4 bytes are reserved, they don't matter. So we're going to put in 4 more zeros. Starting at A, like the column A, you have the offset which is the starting address of the byte where the bitmap image data can be found. That's straight from Wikipedia. We have 14 bytes for the header, 40 bytes for the dib header. So that comes out to be, I believe, whoa, I just broke things. Going to go back to this real quick. It's not being nice. The hex editor is not working properly. Okay, let's look at this again. 36 
like I said before. So this is 36. Comes out to be something like 54, 55 in hexadecimal. I believe 54. Which means that the color data starts 50 after the 54th byte. Um, the offset is a 4 byte number, so we're going to add 3 more zeros. After this, we have the dib header. This is, as I said, 40 bytes. Which means that we're going to put a 28 here. That is hexadecimal for 40. I'm assuming you know hexadecimal in this video, which is six, which is base 16, meaning that 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, A, B, C, D, E, F, and then it rolls over to 1, 0. So 1, 0 would be 16. 2, 8 in this example is 40, because 16 plus 16 plus 8. Anyway, that header is also 4 bits, so 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, we have 4 bits for the size of the header. The next 4 bytes, bytes, they're bytes, not bits. The next 4 bytes are the width of the pixels. The width of the file in pixels. We are making a 3x3 three three file, so it is 0, 3, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. The next is going to be the height, and you can see these charts on Wikipedia. It is zero, I'll link that in the description as well. Zero three zero 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 zero. That's the four bytes for the header, or the height in pixels. Next two bytes are the number of color planes. This has to be one zero zero. Okay, the next two bytes are the bit depth, which is 24 bytes. We're doing 24-bit depth for this image. That is 18 in hex, 18, 0, 0. Next up is the compression method. We're not using compression, so that is 4 bytes of 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. After the compression method, we have the image size. That's the raw size of the bitmap data, which is going to be 36 bytes that's going to be a 24 in hex. That's a 4 byte number, so 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 on the end of that. After that number, we're going to have the horizontal resolution of the image, which is going to be a 3 again, and then the vertical resolution, which is going to be another 3. After that, we have the number of colors in the color palette, which is going to be just a zero to default, which is the default. And the last four bytes are zeros. They should generally be ignored. Now we can start putting in actual color data. Say I want this to be a completely white image. I could do FF, which is the hex for white, FF, FF. This is going to be white for red. It's going to be 255 for red, 255 for green, and 255 for blue. Ignore. Um, so that's going to come out to be white. If I wanted to do black, it would just be 0, 0, and 0. And everything in between you can find with a color. You can find like colors and hex online. Um, I'm going to make the next pixel and this starts at the bottom left corner so this first pixel is going to be white. Uh, we have a white pixel. Say now I want a green pixel. 00, zero FF00. Zero zero. That's going to be pure green. Last pixel hmm, red. Now, that's our first row of pixels. That's the bottom row starting in the left corner. We have nine bytes of color data. 
At the end of every row, there has to be padding to make each row a multiple of four bytes. Since we have nine, we can add three bytes of padding, which can be whatever you want them to be. And those three bytes of padding will make each row 12 bytes. That is how bitmap files work. If I had a 2x2 two two file, it would be 2 bytes of padding because each byte is 3, or each, yeah, each byte, or each color is 3 bytes, which means 6 per row, add 2, you get 8. That is a multiple of 4. Next row, I want to all be white, just because. Now, 3 bytes of padding. I could make that like 5-5 five, five colors that don't even exist just because. And the last row, I want the first pixel to be just, I'm just going to fill this with random data. And the last pixel I just want to be white. I am going to save this, but first I need to add in the last bit of padding, almost forgot. If I did not do that, it would not run. I am going to go ahead and open this file in Paint, not save the old one, that's not right. Opening Sample, and now we have a file with, not sure if you can see that all that well, it'll be white, green, blue, white, 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 yellow, cyan, white, just like we said. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. I'll probably try to answer them. Um, I'll leave all the tools you need in the description as well. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.